everyone welcome to small nations it's so good to have you here on our seventh series and i am super excited because it's a small nations what a wonderful world now this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be exploring some great scientific discoveries of god's wonderful creation we have loads of fantastic science experiments, some fun facts, songs, and of course, Bible study and active prayer to help us find out who God is and how exploring science and following God can go hand in hand. Right, today it's all about the fun of discovery. So we will be looking at the rocket experiment. So that's the science bit there. We're going to have a look at the rocket experiment to discover what happens when Coke and Mentos combine. Now, I'm going to put out a warning. If you really want to do the experiment at home, you must tell an adult, either your parents or whoever is in the house, that so you would like to try it out. Okay, now join me in the science wonder zone okay so for this science wonder zone we are going to need a scientist and we're also going to need two liters of coke and i have diet coke as well so we're going to be comparing also this is important we need mentos not the fruit ones just the normal original mentos meat now let's get started so we're going to be doing this experiment outside. Some of you may have done this before, so you know how cool this experiment is. And if you haven't done it, watch and enjoy the fun of discovering what actually happens when Coke and Mentos mix, when they combine. So we obviously need to put the Mentos in the Coke bottle. Um, so what I've done is to make it easy for us to do this or for me to try it out and show you guys I have a paper clip which I've um, unraveled and I've stringed my or strung um, my mentors through them so there's a hole in the middle so I have one two three four five six seven there are 14 mentos in a pack so this is half of it because this way it is easy to just drop all of them in the bottle of coke and we wait and see what happens i'm going to pass you on to the scientist now okay so we now have our scientist ready to carry out this experiment, Coke and Mentos experiment for us. So what the scientist is gonna do is he's going to choose either the Coke or the original Coke or the diet Coke. Which one would you go for? Diet Coke. The diet Coke, okay. So we're gonna ask him to open the diet Coke and then carefully, not yet, put the string of seven mentors in the key is as soon as you drop it in you must flee <laughs> just in case yeah ready steady and go okay so we're gonna try it again this time we're going to see which one makes the highest fountain is it the normal coke or the diet coke come on scientists when you're ready you have to drop them at the same time ready steady go oh Oh, looks like the diet cook was a lot better than the normal cook. How cool was that? That was so cool. Having the two different types of cook and seeing which one makes the highest fountain. Can we even get it higher? Do you think? What would happen if you were to use Sprite or Fanta? Would it work? Do you want to try that? 
if you do want to try please let your um, parents or adults know in the house take a picture take a video send to us now to the science part of it how does that really work what makes it work now this is what happens I'm gonna grab my mentors now if you look very closely using a microscope not just a magnifying glass you would find that the surface of the mentos is covered with lots and lots and lots of tiny bumps and these bumps are ideal for gas bubbles to form on them this is what we call nucleation site now the mentos obviously because it's denser it's heavier it would sink to the bottom of the cup when you drop it in and that means lots of gas is created in a tiny area in a small area this causes build up of pressure which then results in the fountain forming all right i hope you really enjoyed that now we are going to find out something about the world around us about god and about the adventure of discovery that jesus is calling us on See you soon.
Israel was ready for a new king. God told the priest Zadok and the prophet Nathan to go to David's son Solomon and anoint him king over all of Israel. Solomon was very happy to be king and after he was crowned he went to worship the Lord. He offered hundreds of sacrifices to show God how much he loved him. That night as the exhausted King Solomon fell into a deep sleep he had a dream and in that dream God gave him a message. Solomon whatever you want I'll give it to you God said. Now God wanted to bless Solomon because God knew that the people of Israel needed a good king that loved the Lord. Solomon thought about the dream and knew exactly what to ask God. He didn't need any more money or possessions. Instead, as the leader of a great people, he needed wisdom. Wisdom is the understanding of how to solve problems or how to do the right thing for the people. God answered this prayer and King Solomon became the wisest man in the world. In addition to making him wise, God also made him very rich and honoured. Now Solomon's first great job was to build a new temple. This temple was one of the most beautiful and expensive buildings in the world. Solomon ordered precious wood, valuable stone, lots of gold and silver and fine cloth. The new temple would be a marvel a beautiful reminder that it was the house of God. Seven years later, when the temple was finally finished, everyone in Israel came to the celebration. They offered sacrifices, prayed long prayers and sang many songs. God was very pleased and filled the temple with the light of his glory. What a great story and what a good choice Solomon made. Being wise means you know when to choose the right thing and how to make the right decision. When we do experiments and things like that, we learn things about the world around us, both big and small. Scientists have a thirst for knowledge. They can't wait to find out something new. It's the same when you're at school and you're learning new things in maths and science and the other subjects. Solomon could choose anything in the world and he chose to be wise, to have knowledge. God was pleased with that choice and rewarded him with lots of other things too. All throughout the Bible, we are told how amazing it is to be wise. And they talk about the fun of discovering new things about God and the world he made. You don't start following God and know everything about him straight away. Being a friend of God means a lifetime of exciting exploration and discovery. And it's the same with things like science. When we learn about science, it can be a lifetime of discovery too. I've been a Christian for quite a while now, 36 years in fact, and I still haven't discovered everything there is to know about God. When I learn something new about him, I like to write it down so I don't forget. And this has given me an idea for our active prayer this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my board here. You could get a piece of paper I just thought this was easier to stand up here and on it I'm going to put some things I have discovered not just about God but about the world so here we go here's some facts did you know there is no sound in space because it's a vacuum that's a fact did you know that 70% of the earth is covered in water wow Did you know that the information travelling around your brain travels at three, no, sorry, 268 miles an hour? That is very fast. Did you know that every year the Holy Bible sells over 100 million copies? That's a lot of people getting to read the Bible. And do you remember I mentioned about finding things out about God? Well, I've got two God facts. Did you know that God's got more than one name? One of his names is Jehovah Jireh, and that means the Lord will provide. And finally, did you know that God's plan for you and for me is always bigger than anything we could imagine? So there we go. I've got my facts.
exciting discoveries in front of me here and I'm going to use them to help me to pray. I'm just going to take each one and I'm just going to use it in my prayer to God. And perhaps you can do the same as a family. Write down those amazing facts you're discovering about God and also about his world and use them to help you pray. Let's go. Lord, we thank you so much for the wonderful things you've created. For space, where it's so amazing and it's a massive vacuum and there is no sound. Thank you that you have created an earth where there's plenty of water. 70% of the world is in fact is covered in water. Thank you that you have created us so amazingly that our brain information can travel faster than any car. Thank you that you have written your word and that lots and lots of people every year are getting to read it. And Lord, we thank you that we found out that your name means provider. Jehovah Jireh, give us what we need. And we thank you, Lord, that you have a plan for us that's even more amazing than we could ever imagine. Amen. Don't forget, it's really great to find out amazing things about the world, but also amazing things about God. And you can find out more about God by reading his Bible and also by learning memory verses, which we'll be doing later. So clap your hands and sing Shout out and worship Him So clap your hands and sing And let the praise begin Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like you There'll never be another Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like Upon the earth 
fascination and I'm going to tell you about some science facts for you. Oh, sorry. Hot here. Right. My first fact is going to be about the ocean and I'm going to read it from my book of wonders. Okay. This is my friend Terence, by the way. Say hello, Terence. Ow, Terence, don't bite me. Just watch out for Terence because I think he is a little bit wild, but are you going to behave, Terence? Yes? I hope so. Okay, just stay still. Right, I'm going to read from my book of wonders first, and I'm going to tell you a wonderful fact about the sea and the ocean and all the water on the world. In the world, did you know that the ocean is only made up of 96.5% water? The rest is all just salt and sediment and stuff. Oh, sorry. Hot here. Right, and I'll give you one more fact today. One more. Did you know that babies have roughly 100 more bones in their body than adults do? Absolutely amazing. And with that, we're going to hand over to the professor. Oh, thank you very much. That was close, wasn't it? Oh, hot here. Right, we're going to hand over to the next bit, but I'll see you all next week. I hope this has been helpful. Goodbye. Hi, guys. This week, you're going to create your very own lava lamp. What you would need? An empty bottle with its lid, some sunflower oil, water, food colouring, any colour you like, bicarbonate of soda, a funnel and a spoon. Let's begin. First you get your sunflower oil and pour it into the bottle about halfway. Then you get your food colouring and drop a little bit of it inside. You then take your water and top up the bottle with it. Finally, put in a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Put the lid back on and watch your lava lamp fizz. You can put a torch behind your bottle to see the lava lamp better. I hope you enjoyed making your very own lava lamp. Now, let's learn our memory first. Hi kids, it's memory verse time. For this week, the memory verse is from Psalm 119 verse 105. So I have the verse, let's do it. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Let's do it one more time. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Okay, this time, hope you all got the verse. So this time, let's do it without the words but a bit of an action to help us to remember the words. It goes like this. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Well done kids. I hope you all got the verse. Keep practicing it. See you next week. How cool was that? 
What an amazing start to our Small Nations What a Wonderful World series. It was so cool to learn all about the fun of discovery and how we, as God's people, can go out and explore and discover the world and in turn, learn more about God and how amazing he is. And remember that Jesus has invited us onto this adventure with him, this adventure of discovery to find out more. And over the next four or five weeks, we are going to be learning even more about our wonderful world and our wonderful God. And this week, as well as Temi's amazing experiment, how cool was that? And as well as our fun facts and our crafts and our memory verses, we learned all about the story of Solomon. And do you remember what we learned about? That's right, we learned how Solomon chose wisdom. He chose to be wise. And we now know that we can choose to be wise as well. And we can choose to use things like science and exploration to find out more about this amazing world and our amazing God. So now we think, now we're back in lockdown, we can set you another challenge. So we'll set a challenge every week as long as you keep doing them. So this week's challenge is for you guys to help us out with next week's episode. Next week, we are learning all about the amazing universe. We are going to find out more about space and everything in the universe. And we need your help. We want you to find the best fun facts you can about the wonderful universe and send them in to us. If you want to do a video, you can do that. Or a drawing, or you can write it down and send it to us and we'll include them in next week's video. Can you do that for us? All right, that would be amazing. So we are just about done for today, but before we go, we're gonna close in prayer together like we always do. Are you ready to do the prayer drill? Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your wonderful world and thank you that you are an amazing God. Lord, will you help us to see your amazingness in every single part of the world. Everything we see every day is thanks to you. So Lord, will you help us all as we go into this week of lockdown, that you will be with us and that you will help us explore this wonderful world from our homes. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's not quite it. Stay here because we've got one last amazing song. I can promise you it will be in your head all week because it's a good one. And make sure you see Naomi in the corner and copy her actions and check out all the videos in the song. They're all from members of our team and from parts of the universe, parts of the world that are amazing, just to remind you all of what it's like outside of our homes while we're in lockdown. So we'll see you again next week on YouTube and we will can't wait to see you there. Okay guys, bye. God, we have.
listening hard I can hear All the noises of creation Making music in my ears And I think to myself So I'll sing it aloud Cause I want everybody to know What a wonderful world God has made I can't keep my soul from singing And I pray 